the PlayStation Vita may have just been announced, but that's no reason to forego your old PSP just yet, because this thing still has great games for it. Games such as... This one! The Third Birthday, the Twisted Edition. See? It says right there, Twisted. But there ain't nothing twisted about this game. I haven't had the pleasure of playing this just yet, as I've only just bought it today for the frenzy sum of £19.99, which is pretty good for a brand new game. The third birthday for the uninitiated is the third in the series of Parasite Eve. The first Parasite Eve was only released in the US on the PlayStation 1, which is a shame because it's actually a pretty brilliant game, a hybrid of RPG and survival horror. Brought to you by... Good old Squeenix. Squeenix makes good things happen. Anyway, the second game in the series, Parasite Eve 2, did come out in the UK, but I played that one and Vim tried to make it too much like Resident Evil. Was not very happy about that. The third birthday marks Miss Aya Brea's return. That's the lovely last there. To the fold. I don't know much about the game except the fact that she's been called upon to fight a new bunch of monsters named the Twisted. Let's have a look at the packaging. On the back, in the future our only hope lies in the past. December 24th, 2012, New York City. A giant hive emerges from underground, spilling forth countless creatures known as the Twisted that devour every human in sight. So obviously very yummy then. Mankind's only chance for survival rests with one woman, Aya Brea, who looks fantastic as always. Survive, fight, adapt. From what I understand, the game is a third person shooter and you have to make use of Aya's unique overdrive ability to take control of other people, like it says there. But this being Twisted Edition, twisted. It's got a sub bonus things with it. CTI Confidential, a hardback book packed with top secret artwork and concept illustrations, two deluxe Ibrea lithographed art prints, and exclusive Ibrea lightning costume for use in Dissidia Duodecim Final Fantasy or Dissidia 012 if you can't bother to say all that. Thusly, these two they're like sisters! Now let's take a look what's inside the third birthday twisted edition. That's the easy way to do it. There we go. There's the game box itself featuring a very lovely picture of Aya. Very war torn. It's a bit of a bleak picture for the game, it has to be said. Things don't look so good, except for Aya. On the back, it's the same as before, our only future. I only hope lies in the past. I'll just get tongue tied, don't mind me. New York's not looking too good there. That would be the twisted. Also in here we have the aforementioned lithograph prints and the art book which look pretty cool. There's I looking awesome on that one. Nothing on the back there. And there she is as a blood drenched bride. I don't know what that's all about. Her look there kind of reminds me of the original game, Parasite Eve, which is a good thing. And here we have the CCI Confidential Art Book. That looks fairly epic. I think we should take a look see inside of this thing. There's Aya looking cool again. It's that picture again where you've got the full thing this time, a full view of it. There's Blood Dredged Bride Aya. Interesting. Aya in several different outfits. You can tell what audience you're appealing to with this game. I happen to be one of that audience. She looks very good at jigs. Even if they are ripped to shreds. Ooh, seasonal. She could go seasonal. 
and she also packs very big guns. Girls and very big guns always win. And these appear to be some of the other characters. We've got Mira for the first game. Awesome. Hide Boar. Hope he's not a boar. Hunter Boss Owen. And Gabrielle Monsigny. I probably completely butchered the pronunciation of that. Eve Breer. Eve Breer? Huh? Those who've played past that you've won might understand my confusion here. Kyle Madigan, he was in the second game. Blank. Makes me think of Final Fantasy IX. I wonder if there's any relation. Felonious. Prayer. Interesting. Very interesting. Some kind of nightclub place, presumably in New York. I believe the game is set in New York. More locales. Probably going to be fighting for some of these. Oh, that looks awesome. Subway. And there's Aya posing there. And there. Oh yeah, this looks pretty cool. Paddock stations on New York City streets. I'm looking forward to seeing how all this looks in game. That would be the twisted doing its thing. I wonder how tough these things are. Ooh, helicopters fighting a giant twisted. Reminds me very much of the first game. This one seems to be on the side. It's another great big moment of twisted fat. Looks like I have ever, but I can't quite picture if it is. Bloody hell, these things make their mitochondrial creatures of the first game look positively tame. That looks like landscape been twistified. That's the word for the day, twistified. I again, more twisted. It really does look very twisted. They've gone to town the artwork for this one. And that would be the Statue of Liberty all receiving twistification. And here's some of the twisted themselves. What's this? I am in a bunny suit? Okay. It's like some of the monsters I can look forward to scrapping with. It even compares the size of them to an old human. So good fight giant monsters a lot. Yet yeah, more twisted. I'm liking this game already, I haven't even switched it on yet. There's one last shot of the lovely Miss Brea herself. And that's it. Almost. I took the liberty of getting rid of the self-made wrapping already. And now we're going to open up the very red box of the third birthday. And there is the game itself. With Iron on the front. And there's the manual with altogether an even more awesome picture of Iron on the front. We'll be in the back here. Get 50% off Final Fantasy 2. Oh yeah, I think that may have expired. Which is sad. Because I don't have Final Fantasy 2. Dissidia 2 would also came with one of these Final Fantasy 1, but I already have that game in UMD form. This would be nice. And this is the code to get Aya's costume for lightning, as you can see there, on Dissidia 2 would Which I'll be using once I get the chance to use this wirelessly. Which is not right now because I don't have wireless internet anymore, which sucks. Those out of the way, there's the game, there's the manual. Have a quick flick through that. Looks like it's going to go fairly into detail on what I need to do. And that's it. The third birthday, Twisted Edition. Now, if you excuse me, I'm gonna, I've got a date with Miss Iabria.